hi everyone from last videos we have studied about the parts of plants that is root stem and leaf today we are going to learn about flower and fruit now let us see about the flower flowers may have a long or a short stalk called pedicel pedicel manjes phulasa det one end of the pedicel is attached to the stem and other end is expanded and swollen called as the receptacle receptacle manjes pushpadhar phulacha pakalya ani itar bhag ya receptacle var astat ata apan फुलाचे विविध भाग पाहूया म्हणजेच पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स कॅलिक्स करोला अँड्रोसियम गायनोसियम आर डिफरंट पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर नाव लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फ्लावर इज कॅलिक्स कळी अवस्थेत पाकळ्या हिरव्या रंगाच्या पानासारख्या भागाने झाकलेल्या असतात हे आवरण म्हणजेच कॅलिक्स होय कॅलिक्स इज द आउटर मोस्ट वर्ल ऑफ द फ्लावर ग्रीन इन कलर अँड प्रोटेक्टिव्ह इन नेचर नाव द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज करोला करोला म्हणजेच दलपुंज दिस इज मेडअप ऑफ कलरफुल पार्ट्स कॉल्ड पेटल्स द शेप कलर अँड द स्मेल ऑफ द करोला इज डिफरंट इन डिफरंट फ्लावर्स फॉर एक्झाम्पल इन द रोज क्रिसेंथमम हिबिस्कस मोगरा कनेर तगर एक्सेट्रा इन दॅट फ्लावर्स द स्मेल the color and the shape is different according to the flowers let us see about the androsium this is the male reproductive part of the flower it consists of stamens each stamen is made up of anther and filament now see about the gynosium gynosium is the female reproductive part of the flower manjes ethe androsium ha phulacha पुलिंगी भाग आहे तर गायनोसियम हा फुलाचा स्त्रीलिंगी भाग आहे गायनोसियम इज मेडअप ऑफ कार्पेल्स अ कार्पेल कन्सिस्ट ऑफ स्टिग्मा स्टाईल अँड ओव्हरी आफ्टर मॅच्युरिटी अँथर्स बस्ट अँड द पॉलन ग्रेन्स विच आर रिलीज द फॉल ऑन द स्टिग्मा दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनेशन ड्यू टू पॉलिनेशन ओव्ह्युल्स नथिंग बट एग सेल्स इन द ओव्हरी गेट फर्टिलाइज फर्टिलाइज द ओव्ह्युल फॉर्म द सीड्स अँड द ओव्हरी डेव्हलप्स इन टू अ फ्रुट विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो चला तर आपण फुलांचे आता विविध भाग पाहूया हिअर इज ए फुल्ली ओपन अँड हिबिस्कस फ्लावर विल यू टेल मी विच आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ द फ्लावर येस इट इज कॅलिक्स करोला अँड्रोसियम अँड गायनोसियम हिअर इज ए कॅलिक्स कॅलिक्स इज ए ग्रीन इन कलर and it is the outermost part of the flower now this is a corolla corolla is made by petals here are five petals see here the another part of the flower is androsium these consist of stamens having anther and filament this is the male reproductive part of the flower here we see yellowish particles on the anther they are called pollen grains they take part in the pollination see here above this androsium here is a stigma this stigma style and ovary forms the gynosium and gynosium is the female reproductive part of the flower now remove this calyx part of the flower now i am removing this greenish colored calyx here one by one let us see here i am removing the corolla part of the flower these are the petals one by one i am removing all these petals there are five petals here this one fourth one and then last one is the fifth one in this way this is the corolla part of the flower that is the five petals now see here behind the corolla here is a ovary this stigma style which comes towards the ovary all these forms the gynosium after removing this outer covering we can see all these parts very clear here is a stigma style and ovary in this way these are the various parts of the flower let us see 
the next part of the plant is fruit we know that fertilized the ovules form the seeds and the ovary develops into a fruit we eat many different type of fruits each type of fruit has its own characteristics there are variations in their shape color taste etc mango contains only one seed whereas jackfruit consists of many small fruitlets each with its own seed observe the fruits of bear mango chikku apple etc each fruit has a different skin or shell fleshy part and seed in case of fruits like cashew its seed is outside the fruit seeds which get divided into two equal parts are called dicotyledonous seeds whereas seeds which do not divided into two equal parts are called monocotyledonous seeds here jowar and wheat are the examples of monocotyledonous seeds and groundnut and scissors are the examples of dicotyledonous seeds this is all about the plant's structure and function thank you